Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew here, and this is my full review on the Lenovo Y700. The Y700 is the successor to the Y50, which is one of the most popular budget gaming notebooks in 2014 going into 2015. The Y700 takes on some key improvements like cooling, design, and the overall build quality. Let's see if it's worth picking up. Here's a quick unboxing of the Y700. Take a look at that beautiful brushed aluminum exterior. This thing is a beauty. On the bottom you have your AC charging cable, documentation paperwork, and your AC power adapter. Let's start by breaking down the specs. This notebook features a quad-core i7-6700HQ, 16 gigs of RAM, a 1TB drive alongside a 128GB SSD, 15.6 inch Full HD IPS panel, and for your GPU you're getting an NVIDIA 960M. With these specs you can expect to pay around $1300 US. However, Lenovo usually runs some weekly specials and you can sometimes score one of these models for much less. The design of the Y700 is very slick and sexy. The exterior is made out of this brushed aluminum finish and it just looks gorgeous. The weight comes in at 5.7 pounds and its thickest point is just over an inch. The overall design of the Y700 is pretty similar to the Y50. The major changes are the relocation of the subwoofer, extra vents on the side of the notebook, and the relocation of the intake and exhaust vents to prevent high CPU and GPU temps. We'll get more to that later on. On the left side of the notebook, you have your AC charging port, USB 2, an SD card reader, headset microphone jack combo, and your Lenovo One Key recovery pin. And the nice thing about this SD card reader is this sits almost flush mount with the notebook. This makes it very convenient. On the right side, you got two USB 3s, a full size HDMI, Gigabit Ethernet, and your Kensington security lock slot. On the front of the notebook, you have your power status indicator battery charge, trackpad status, and your hard drive status LED. The Y700 is rocking a 15.6 inch display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 p They do have a 4K version available, but for me personally, I would choose the 1080p model, especially since the 960M can't even handle 4K gaming. Text and images on the 1080p model is fairly crisp. The Full HD model is better with scaling, and the gaming performance is much smoother. The sRGB coverage came in at 69%, and the Adobe RGB came in at 52%. These scores are a little better than the previous Y50 that I reviewed. However, for some of you guys out there that need an accurate color display, I would pass. The viewing angles have been improved as well. This is an IPS panel that offers much better viewing angles than the previous Y50 IPS panel. Take a look at this, don't you guys agree? Even when tilting the display all the way down, it's still very viewable. There is an anti-glare film on here that does a great job of reducing glare, but the downside here is it does make the screen feel a bit dull. You can remove it, however I prefer to have an anti-glare display over a glossy display especially for a gaming laptop. The keyboard on the Y700 is good, the small shaped keys offer great tactile feedback, and the key travel is adequate. Just like the ASUS Rogue, the Y700 now highlights the WASD keys to make it stand out as a gamer's notebook. A nice bonus with this keyboard is you do get a caps lock LED and a number lock LED. This keyboard is backlit and you have two options, either low or high. The trackpad is huge and the surface has a nice texture to it. The performance has been dramatically improved. Tracking and two finger scrolling is very smooth, almost like butter. Compared to the last gen Y50, the new trackpad just feels more responsive and smoother. The CPU on this notebook is an Intel Core i7-6700HQ clocked at 2.6GHz with turbo boost up to 3.3GHz. This is a brand new CPU based on the Skylake architecture. Let's just make this plain and simple. This processor is a freaking beast or a monster whatever you want to call it. This chip is ready for anything you throw at it. The overall performance and efficiency has been excellent. I've been very impressed overall with this new CPU. The Y700 features the same GPU found in the Y50, and that's the NVIDIA 960M. It's actually a pretty capable GPU. I really wish Lenovo would have at least made the 965M the standard GPU in these models. And it would have been awesome if Lenovo would give us an option of a 970M or even a 980M. For now, we'll keep on dreaming. The 960M is a Maxwell chip with 4GB of GDDR5. This GPU can handle many of today's high-end games, on medium to high settings at 1920 by 1080p. Here's a quick demo of Battlefield 4 running at full HD on high settings with vertical sync turned on. All right, who wants some of this, baby? Oh, get down, baby, you don't want none. Yeah, you better run. 
What, you running away from me? Get down, boy. You ain't going nowhere. Who else wants some of this? Oh, you want some too? Come on, baby. Yeah, you better get down. I'm on fire. Who else wants some? Come on. So Battlefield 4 on high settings, you can expect around 55 to 60 frames per second. I did have vertical sync on, so it locks it at 60. I did try to run it on ultra, and I got around 35 to 42 frames per second. So the best experience is on high settings. For more video game performance on certain laptops I review, be sure to check out my second channel. I'll post the link in the description. I'll also have gaming commentaries on next gen consoles as well. The new thermal cooling system on the Y700 is freaking awesome. I have yet to push the temps of the CPU and GPU higher than 73 to 76 degrees Celsius. Overall, I've been highly impressed with the cooling system on this notebook. This is one of the biggest improvements compared to the Y50. To test temperatures further, here's my Floor 1 thermal imaging sensor for the iPhone 6S Plus. The temps on the exterior are improved as well. The hottest point on this notebook is the right side by the keyboard by the inner key. It's usually around 47 to 50 degrees Celsius. On the top is the hottest point at around 52 to 56 degrees Celsius. The WASD keys were pretty cool at around 38 degrees Celsius, and the palm rest was around 35 degrees Celsius. Here's a quick shot of the internal components of the Y700. Take a look at that. Isn't she a beauty? The first component here is your two DIMM slots for your RAM. This notebook has 16 gigs and it's running the all new DDR4 RAM that is much faster. The Skylake chipsets will recognize DDR3L and DDR4. Next up on the list is your one terabyte hard drive and this is the Western Digital Slim. The Y700 now supports the new M.2 port, which will give you much faster performance. This configuration has the base 1TB drive, where you can store all of your Steam games, and then you have the 128GB M.2 SSD for Windows 10 OS. Having this SSD makes a big difference. Booting up and the overall system response has been quick. The fan levels on this notebook are great. During casual use, the fan noises are acceptable. During heavy loads of gaming, they can get a little loud, however it's not to a point where it's getting too loud. Overall, the Y700 is well balanced when it comes to fan noise and cooling efficiency. The Y700 is rocking the latest Intel AC8260. This is a dual band AC card that offers improved range, better performance, improved support for Windows 10, and it's more power efficient. So far, the range and connection has been rock solid. The 4 cell 60 watt hour battery pack seems small for a notebook of this caliber, however, most gaming notebooks all suffer from this issue. On average, with normal productivity, you can expect around 4 to 4.5 four hours out of full charge with medium screen brightness. And if you plan on gaming on the battery pack, you can expect around an hour and 20 minutes of gameplay. I don't know if I had a defective mic on my webcam, but the sound quality sound muffled. Take a listen here. Hey, what's up everybody? Here's a quick webcam test on the new Y700. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. The two top facing JBL speakers are excellent. The sound quality is good. The lows and mids sound great. And with the subwoofer being mounted closer towards the user, the low end kick is awesome during intense gameplay like first person shooters. This is one of the best sounding laptops I have tested thus far. Overall, I've been highly impressed. Here's a quick sound test in action. Let's get to the conclusion of the Y700. This notebook offers great performance for the money. The new Skylake processors offer top-notch performance for a notebook. The newer thermal design and heatsink offers dramatically better cooling all around. The NVIDIA 960M is a great card that can handle many of today's high-end games. However, I am highly disappointed that there is not a 970M or a 980M option built to order. With that being said, the Y700 is one of the best budget notebooks I have tested for under $1300 or less if you choose the lower end model. You're getting a solid gaming notebook in a sleek and stylish package. Now the big question here, is it worth the upgrade from a Y50? I personally would say no. This is just a glorified version of the Y50. Now if they threw in a 965M, a more responsive screen, and kept the same price point, then this would be an excellent upgrade. Alright guys, this completes my full review on the Lenovo Y700. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to smash on that like button, and don't forget to sub. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.